What up, Smart Rapper? Really quick video. Got to answer this question because it was asked, and actually people ask it a lot. So when it comes to doing stage performances, should you take the vocal out of the song when you're, when you're doing a show? or should you keep it in there? I'm gonna give you a really quick answer on that and you're gonna get smarter right after the intro. I'm Rob Level, this is SmartRapper.com. Let's get into it, Smart Rapper family. Okay, so when you do perform, should you take the vocal out? So let's say you have a song, you have a two track song, right, you got the song and it's playing in the background. Okay, now let's imagine you're on stage, you rocking a show. What? What, what? rocking the show, <laughs> right? Okay, when your vocals are playing and you're talking out of the microphone, it's, you're also coming out of the speakers. Okay, so what you don't want to have happening is your, real tr your full track playing with your real vocals on there. Because when you're talking to it, now it's distorting. Because you're talking over the thing that's already talking and you're not matching it exactly. It's going to sound not so bueno, you know all right? not so good. right? So what you're really going to want to do in this circumstance is what I tell you to do before you go on stage. For all of your, for all of your records that you have before you're going to go out and you're going to perform, what, you, what I recommend doing is you take the track, you have the person who mixed it or if you mixed it, you go in and you take the main vocal and the ad-libs and everything and you, pu you push them down like six decibels, okay. okay? okay. And you play, say, is that loud enough? How am I gonna sound? You know, and maybe push them out a little bit more to where they're just barely audible to you and then when you're on stage to the audience, right? Where it's just barely hearable, but you can still hear it if you lose yourself. If you're like, oh shit. Now I'm not talking about lose yourself like Eminem. I'm talking about like you lose yourself when you're flowing. You're like, oh shit, where was that in the song? Oh shit, yeah, that's where it's at because I can hear myself, right? So that's what you wanna do. Now, oftentimes, a, super, a professional artist takes it out completely and does a song, just does it. But that takes practice. That's like a lot after you do a bunch of shows, you'll get used to doing that and you're gonna have to do that over time. But when your beginner shows, you're not doing huge venues, you know, get a place that can hold probably like 300 to 500 people or even maybe even a little bit more. You can do it where you just push down that, okay? And you're gonna, you're gonna get on stage and you're still gonna sound good, especially if you got a hype man with you, he's helping you go through it, right? Yes, so that's really the quick answer to that is you should definitely at least lower the vocal, the main vocals, okay? Now, oh shit, before I forget. With the chorus though, it's a good idea to keep it a little bit louder because you can kind of like vibe with it. You can still do the lyrics of, of the chorus, but if somebody's already a fan of you and they already know what that chorus sounds like, they still like the vibe that that chorus gives. So keeping a little bit more of it in there, like maybe just keep that, put that down like only four decibels in, instead. Um, that then you could go along with it. People like that vibe. So like that's, that's from my experience. So six decibels down on your main vocals and ad libs and voiceovers. Push everything down. Okay, to where you still barely hear it. And then uh, with the chorus, keep it to put it down about four and go over that. Okay. And then when you get really good, you'll keep the chorus in there so people can vibe to it. But to take out the main vocals completely inside of your verses and be able to um, just be able to just wrap them. Okay. And then your hype man will do your ad libs and everything else like that. Or you keep your ad libs in there. But now you know you just became a smarter rapper. Hit me with a like. Hit me with your four bars for the day, all right? Any comments, any questions you got, put those below. I appreciate y'all, Smart Rapper family. Go ahead, hit me with a subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, hit that little bell because it's going to notify you every time I release a new video, which is every single day, every day, so you can become a smarter rapper. All right, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow with another video. But until then, oh, check out these other videos right here. And then hit subscribe, okay? Hit subscribe, and then check out my other channel too, okay? That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Hey, what do y'all think too? Again, I gotta ask again just so I get everybody's thing. What do you guys think about this, this outro right here? I can just do some goofy shit. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Stay safe out there in these streets.